Chapter 5, Behavior Reduction. Module 2, Identifying the Essential Components of a Written Behavior Plan. What is a Behavior Intervention Plan? A Behavior Intervention Plan, or BIP, is synonymous with a Behavior Reduction Plan. The BIP takes the observations made in a functional assessment and turns them into a concrete plan of action for managing a client's behavior. Behavior Intervention Plan. When do we need one? When students exhibit consistent and significant behavior problems that interfere with their learning and or others in their class or home setting. When students demonstrate significant emotional difficulties that interfere with learning and or others including frustration, anxiety, depression, fear, etc. When students demonstrate any other significant and consistent issues that affect their school experience, home experience, and learning. Behavior intervention plans. Why do we need one? It provides more intensive intervention and monitoring. Behavior intervention plans increase support around the student. They also provide an individualized plan for success. Behavior intervention plans address specific issues in a specific manner. Behavior intervention plans involve teachers, support staff, the student, and parents actively. Common types of maladaptive behavior. There are several types of maladaptive behaviors that are very common. Here are some examples. Stereotypical behavior, ritualistic behavior, self-injurious behavior, tantrums, aggression, elopement, and verbally inappropriate behavior. Stereotypical behavior. These include repetitive movements, such as postures, utterances, hand play, rocking, echolalia, which is repeating words or phrases. Ritualistic behavior. Ritualistic behavior is an attempt to regulate something concrete and controllable. Ritualistic behavior often manifests itself in compulsive behavior. Tantrums. A tantrum is a combination of two or more maladaptive behaviors, such as screaming, crying, and dropping to the ground, for example, although there are many more. Self-injurious behavior. Any behavior that can cause damage to the individual. Some examples of self-injurious behavior include headbanging, self-biting, scratching, and pica, which is consumption of inedible items. Aggression. Aggression is an act of violence to another person or object. Aggression includes hitting, kicking, biting, slapping, pinching, grabbing, and pushing. Elopement. Elopement is running out of the classroom or therapy area or home, running away from adults, darting away from the area. Verbally inappropriate behavior. Verbally inappropriate behavior is disruptive to classroom, peers, or individual learning and success. Verbally inappropriate behavior includes name calling, swearing, screaming, whining, and crying. Increasing adaptive behaviors. Replacement behavior. A behavior that replaces the maladaptive behavior. A replacement behavior is more persisting if it serves the same function as the maladaptive behavior. Essential components of a written behavior reduction plan. This will include the client history, operational definition of maladaptive behavior, the function of the targeted behavior, and the proposed replacement behavior. Essential components continued. The behavior treatment plan has a list and explanation of duties of each team member that are involved in the plan, including parents and client. 
It also includes information sharing options between all team members. The review should be scheduled for the intervention plan, and there should be a crisis plan included in the behavior intervention plan. The client history. Within the client history, we need to have the client's name, birth date, medical history, including medications, previous interventions, including their range of effectiveness, family structure, school placement and functioning, current services the client is receiving, and any major life changes. Operational definitions of maladaptive behavior. Integral to the behavior treatment plan are operational definitions. An operational definition is an accurate and complete, concise description of the behavior to be changed and therefore measured. It is a way of defining behavior in simple, observable terms. We avoid using definitions that are vague, overly technical, or can't be observed, like thinking. Let's look at the elements of an operational definition. An operational definition is a title or brief description of the behavior. It describes the topography of the behavior, the frequency of the behavior, or the length or duration of the behavior. It can also describe the behavior's intensity. Again, the function of the targeted behavior should be included in the behavior treatment plan. Possible functions, automatic or sensory reinforcement, escape or avoidance, attention, and obtaining tangible items or activities. Replacement behaviors need to be included in the behavior treatment plan. Replacement behaviors are alternative behaviors that provide an immediate mechanism for the client to meet their needs. Replacement behaviors are most effective when they match the function of the maladaptive behavior. Explanation of duties. The BCBA or BCBAD will assess the needs of the client. They will develop the individualized behavior plan. They will also track progress and provide training and feedback for staff and families. The RBT. The RBT will have direct implementation of skill acquisition and behavior reduction plans developed by the supervisor. The RBT will collect data and conduct certain types of assessments. The behavior intervention plan includes the following sections. Proactive section, an educative section, and an effective section. Let's look at the proactive section. The proactive section will include what environmental adjustments will be used to make the student's problem behavior unnecessary. In the educative section, we will describe what behaviors or skills will be taught to replace or meet the same function as the student's problem behavior and improve his or her ability to function more effectively. And in the effective section, we will look at how will consequences be managed to ensure the student receives reinforcers for positive behavior, not just problem behavior. Let's look a little more closely at the proactive section of the behavior intervention plan. Adjustments to the environment will be included here. And these adjustments reduce the likelihood of problem behavior occurring. It will also allow the student to be independent and successful. In the proactive section, we will also put types of examples such as modifying the curriculum, reorganizing the physical setting, clarifying routines and expectations. We may even include visuals, anything that will help the student become more independent and successful. In the educative section of the behavior intervention plan, we will teach replacement skills. We will also build generalizable competencies and allow students to meet objectives in more effective, efficient, and appropriate ways. For example, communication alternatives. We will also enhance the student's overall independence, integration, and quality of life. In the effective section, this is where we'll learn to manage consequences to reinforce desired behaviors and replacement skills. Also withholding reinforcement for following problem behavior. 
and the use of natural least intrusive consequences that address the identified function. Information sharing. A release of information will need to be filled out by the family before any information is shared. The supervisor will share pertinent information to the team, which include the family, the RBT, the school team, the caseworker, or any other interventionist such as speech language pathologist, OTs, PTs, etc. Review schedule for intervention plan. The review schedule for the intervention plan will vary from client to client. This includes treatment goals, target behaviors for reduction, current interventions, and the crisis plan will be reviewed. Updates will be made to each area depending on progress and or changes. The updated plan will be provided to the team. Essential elements of a behavior intervention plan. A plan for you and your team should meet four essential elements. Clarity. Information about the plan, expectations, and procedures are clear to the individual, to the family, to the staff, and any other team members. Consistency. The team and family members are on the same page with interventions and approaches and strive to apply the same expectations and rewards. Simplicity. Supports are simple, practical, and accessible so that everyone on the team, including the family, can be successful in making it happen. If you don't understand or cannot manage a complicated proposed behavior plan, speak up. Continuation. Even as a behavior improves, it is important to keep the teaching and the positive supports in place to continue to assist in development of good habits and more adaptive skills. Behavior Crisis Plan. Proactive strategies to avoid getting to a crisis situation. Always identify potentially frustrated situations. Ensure demands have been communicated clearly. Ensure sufficient processing time has been given. And ensure demands are appropriate to the observed frustration level. Behavior Crisis Plan Continued. Guidelines for a Crisis. Encourage the client to take space in a quiet area. Refrain from social interactions until safe behaviors are observed. If the client is unable to be redirected to take space, ensure the environment is free from obstructions. Ensure the client is on a soft surface to prevent injury. The client should be redirected to the safe space if he or she attempts to leave until he or she is able to follow simple instructions. Additional guidelines may be added as needed. Prevention of maladaptive behavior. We should not always have to assess the function of behavior. Many attention and tangible and escape controlled problem behavior can be reduced through regular use of best practices. We can prevent a lot of problem behavior through functional communication training a predictable and structured classroom environment, and lots of reinforcement of appropriate behavior. When problem behavior does occur, how do we respond to it in the moment? 